Welcome to Irish Whiskey Tours. Welcome to Dublin, delight to see you here. The particular pub we're in here right now is uh, the Palace Bar. This tour is, is about tasting great whiskies in great pubs. Pubs have got a literary history, literary tradition. This is the Dublin of Behan, of James Joyce, of Patrick Kavanagh, of Flann O'Brien. Uh, this pub itself, Flann O'Brien wrote some of his, his works here. He made sandwiches here with the, uh, with the owner when the owner was a young lad. Uh, Brendan Bean was thrown out of here by the owner's father back in the 1950s. So, the big thing is how do you drink whiskey? People ask this a lot. Um, don't smell it straight in like this, um, like you do wine. You nose it slowly, bring your nose to it slowly, and then pick out all the flavours. Welcome to Bo's Pub. This pub is another one of the, uh, the journalist pub. The Irish Times was across the road here. Uh, this whiskey is the Pogue, 12 year old. It's almost like um, a Chardonnay. Very light, very easy to drink. I consider this to be um, not quite a breakfast whiskey, but a whiskey that is middle of the day on a summer's day. Really lovely, refreshing. Uh, this pub is a very famous old uh, Dublin pub, built in 1782 that it was when Louis XVI was King of France before he had his head chopped off. James Joyce set uh, Dubliners, one of, the, one of the stores in Dubliners, Counterparts was set in this very pub. It's a, it's a very brutal story and a very kind of a, an anti-hero. Farrington comes into this pub um, with a few friends. He's pawned his watch. Um, he's been drinking heavily all day and he engages in an arm wrestling match and somebody comes along to, to uphold the, uh, the honour of the Irish. And... Uh, Stephen and Paul, would you like to, would you like to take a part of, of, of Farrington and Weathers and give us an arm wrestle there, please? Go. I'm going to get you. Oh, he's fighting, he's fighting. And it was amazing. So, thank you very much for reliving a piece of Joyce. The whiskey we're trying is uh, Teeling's uh, small batch. It's about six years old. It was finished off in a Caribbean rum cask that you can taste the rum, raisins, uh, dark sugar, demerara sugar. Welcome to O'Neill's of Pierce Street. This pub uh, was bought by the family back in 1885. This pub has been in the same family for five generations. The whiskey we're trying is uh, Clontarf single malt whiskey. It's been spent its whole life in a bourbon barrel. Originally, this would have been a digestive. Food poisoned quite easily back in those days. And uh, so you had something, some alcohol would come to settle your stomach and kill any germs that were there. Whiskey is the perfect digestive, I think. Welcome to Kennedy's of Western Row. Um, this pub has got several literary connections. Oscar Wilde, uh, we went by his house as we're walking up here, was born just down there and he grew up, spent his teenage years around the corner. He actually worked in this bar as, um, as a pop man collecting glasses. He worked uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights, got paid on Sunday and within a, about an hour of getting paid he'd spent the whole money behind the bar. <laughs> uh, the whiskey we're tasting this evening is Connemara, a very unusual whiskey. Uh, unusual in the fact that it is an Irish whiskey that has been cured by peat smoke, or the barley has been cured by peat smoke, which gives it a kind of a smoky flavour. Uh, it always changes, Connemara always changes. I'm, I'm, I'm always surprised by it, it's never the same. And in actual fact, when you open a bottle, the beginning of it is very different from the end of it. 